Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a brand new PlayStation State of Play big event that's planned up as of tomorrow. So if you guys are on the lookout for that one, I'm going to be talking about this, giving you guys the details, and as well, all the early leaks and kind of expectations of what a lot of folks are looking towards to the State of Play. Now, as of right now, this is not 100% confirmed in terms of what will be shown, but the event itself has been confirmed. We also have some pretty big news, too, as well, some brand new PlayStation exclusive games that are now being early leaked, and a few other little various kind of cool things as well, some layouts though, which are not as cool, and just kind of a, just a lot of little various things when it comes to the PlayStation universe. So you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We do have the Weeble link right now. If you guys got think donate any type of money at all to the program itself, I think donate's not the right word. Just basically just invest like five bucks. I think you get a bunch of free stocks for free. That's all linked down below. Hashtag yeah, we have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. Let's dive on into the video itself. So the kind of the big, big news in the gaming sphere as of today is that the state of play is now returning as of tomorrow. Now, I'm always a big fan of state of plays. I even maybe called this around maybe like two weeks ago or so that we basically had an Xbox developer event so a state of play was very very likely we talked about that in a separate video because typically we always kind of see like if one big event's going on PlayStation wants to do something or if PlayStation's doing something then Xbox wants to do something and they always I feel like they almost have like a looming like hey we have five different trailers in case we gotta do a quick like tweet showcase or whatever and it kind of seems like this might be it up for the state of play as well, usually, like, the 2024 has been a little bit on the barren side, so having something like this to go pad out the rest of this year sounds absolutely fantastic. So as of right now, on Wednesday, January 31st, at 2 p.m. Pacific, uh, 3 p.m. Arizona time, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. EST, we'll have a chance to have the state of play returning, and we'll have a lot of really cool stuff. So as I go and see over here in the official PlayStation Press event, join us on January 31st for 40 minutes, so a decently long event, covering 15-plus games, including Stellar Blade and Rock. Eyes of the Ronin. Hi everyone, 2024 has just begun. It's time for our very first state of play. The broadcast will be over 40 minutes long and feature guest appearances for some of the most talented minds in gaming. Among many other updates, we'll feature extended looks at Stellar Blade and Rise of the Ronin. I'm extremely excited for Stellar Blade and of course Rise of the Ronin too. Two great game, uh, games coming to PS5 this year. We'll give you a new look on other titles coming to the PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2 in 2024 and beyond. Hearing some more PlayStation VR 2 news is nice. I've been kind of critiquing them a little bit, or it kind of seems like there's not been a lot of brand new games, things we're excited for, things we're hyped up for, or whatever it might be. And to me, in my mind, that's sad. Like, if you spend $550 on a PlayStation VR, you kind of want to have cool games in the works. And so right this second... That's all it is. Like, we just don't really know. So hopefully they'll give us a really cool game, something kind of unique, maybe a proper PlayStation, like, real game. Like a God of War VR would be insane, or something really cool, like a first-party title. Of course, though, if they have some cool indies, if they're cool, I'll creep on it. I've been kind of resetting up my Vive myself and doing Beat Saber, which has been really, really fun in the first place. And as well, uh, I just want to see all the brand-new PlayStation 5 titles. But over here, too, we also have this as well. I just... Basically just cool stuff. Like, I'm excited for this as well. Uh, a lot of people have actually been kind of curious on what might be coming out. Like, some things such as big press stuff is kind of talking about Rise of Ronin kind of getting, like, a very, very big feature. It's basically like a Ghost of Tsushima, and also Team Ninja's been around for quite some time. I think the game looks cool. Uh, I do think graphically, though, compared to Ghost of Tsushima, it is not as good. Like, it doesn't look as crystal clear. Animations don't look as nice. The environment's still looking nice. But the game still looks good. Like, look at how nice this environment looks like in the first place. I still think Ghost of Tsushima was nicer even a few years back. But you want to know what? Samurai games. I'm cool with this. Like, I will probably check out this game. I'll be excited to go check it out. Now, once again, they also may have updated the graphics a little bit more off the trailers, but it might be kind of hard to go and do because these are the official PlayStation things. You probably don't want to go and try to sell someone something lackluster. But overall, the game itself does look nifty. I keep on trying to put it towards, like, Assassin's Creed mixed with Ghost of Tsushima, uh, which, I mean, in my mind, like, I think that seems like a cool, like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this. Although we want to see more gameplay, how the gameplay loop kind of goes, if it's more open world, like all that type of stuff, so we might get more answers, because we'll be coming out sooner rather than later, I believe, this year. As well, there was also a lot of big talk when it came to uh, Stellar Blade. Now, Stellar Blade, this game, to me, looks even cooler. I've been a big fan. I'll play this a little bit one of the big screens. I talked about this for a second. I've been a big fan of all, like, the near type style games, waifu games, RPGs. Like, I, I, they've always been pretty good. They got good music. They got good vibes. They got everything. And I think the graphical style for this game is also something I think a lot of folks are looking forward to. These are the two specific games that PlayStation has noted. And this game has been floating around for, like, three years now or so for trailers. And it is just a very intriguing game. 
game. I've played a lot of really weird JRPGs, and once again, this kind of just reminds me of like a near Autonoma, which is one of my favorite games of all time. The Desolate World, Desolate Planet, and I just can't wait to see this, and I do believe this will be one of the bigger PlayStation 5 exclusive titles throughout the year. Now, once again, it's a little bit more of the JRPG type, like, you know, Neary type style, a little bit more of the gruesomeness, but like, look at the graphics, look at how nice this looks. I'm a little bit more excited for this game rather than Rise of Ronin. Would love to hear your thoughts in comments on which one you guys would like to go play a little bit more on yourself. It's always I'm just like personal taste or whatever, but I do think this looks really nice. Like I think it like aesthetically looks like a very, very good game. Now some other folks out here, like I say over here for Pyro. This thing here is like their safe picks, there's their wild cards over here just for a discussion on one. Stellar Blade and Rise of Ronin, duh, because it was shown on their one. Some folks are still waiting for maybe the Venom and or Spider-Man 2 updates, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, mainly because as we go and see this, like a lot of people have chimed on in on Venom. That was on the initial Insomniac leaks. That was meant to be the game that's released for this holiday season. Kind of like those big superhero blockbuster titles. Spider-Man 2 having a DLC would also make a lot of sense. Or a general update, because it is like the most recent big selling PlayStation game. Death Stranding 2 has been getting a lot of preemptive hype as well. We've kind of been seeing this up on Twitter. We're seeing, like, like we know, the character co-cast and the kind of details. Yeah, I think we saw a secondary trailer not too long ago. So I do think a brand new Death Stranding update, because it should be coming out this year. It should be very nice. And it's, I can't wait to play that game. Like, Death Stranding 1 was one of my more top, probably like 10 games. That wasn't my favorite favorite of all time, so it was a good game. Silent Hill 2 obviously make a lot of big sense. And they have a really nice connection over here, too, with Konami. VR updates. They did mention the VR updates. And they're kind of going for the random save. Sonic, we have been seeing Sonic trying to go weasel their way on in. Same with Sega, so we can see from that. Uh, I'd be very happy to go and see maybe one big game announcement from PlayStation, because like something like Rise of Ronin or Stellar Blade will be cool, or even Death Stranding, but I want to see something from PlayStation as a whole. Some of their wild cards, Ghost of Tsushima 2. Now, that would make me get, probably get out of my seat and scream, but with uh, Rise of Ronin, it'd probably actually overshadow Rise of Ronin. Kind of a weird one. KOTOR remake update, funny joke, Ben Studio new IP also maybe, we can see. Uh, basically, like, their wild cards are not really that crazy, you know, like, just nothing bad on that one. I really wouldn't know what I would even say for wild card 2, and that's kind of why they're called wild cards in the first place. So either way, I just want, like, maybe a good, proper first-party game uh, when it comes to PlayStation. That also leads to a few different types of uh, leaks, though. Now, we've been seeing a bit more news in this one game called Concord, so which is going to be a brand new PlayStation exclusive game. Uh, very nifty to go and see nonetheless. So basically this has been announced and kind of somewhat leaked, although this is on a French website, I believe it might be French. After saying after Death Stranding 2, which is kind of a lot of people are expecting either soon or at this PlayStation State of Play. And then Until Dawn, which a lot of folks also may even expect this on this current PlayStation State of Play. They'll be getting a PlayStation 5 version that is confirmed. And they discover their information about Conquer, another PlayStation exclusive that also may be the wild card that's announced right now. Sony officially came out with the State of Play for this Wednesday. The presentation will last 40 minutes with a bunch of brand new games. As of right now, there's still no official announcement on from Sony on how to basically have on the State of Play. This may be just more of an update for that one. But basically, a lot of folks have been kind of talking about this brand new Concord game. Some folks are assuming maybe a little bit more of an extra attention towards Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, because it is coming out soon. Some Johnny Generations, maybe. Some Silent Hill stuff. And also, maybe some people talk about new Metro or Judas, which has also been floating around quite a bit. We see those on other various things. But also, people are very curious, though, on this Concord. Some people are maybe saying VR Metro, which would be kind of nifty, would probably fit really well. And then Concord is a mysterious FPS game where they did have a chance to go and showcase up some stuff called Concord. It was a multiplayer FPS game developed by Firewalk Studios, which joined a few months earlier the PlayStation Studio. So it is a technical PlayStation Studio, and they don't really have anything to really compete with Call of Duty right this second. They do have many years to come up with a solution, but it still is time is clicking, and the longer you can have a long formed IP the better. So they learned via the short trailer that the game is basically a like, well-colored sci-fi universe will release in the PS5 and PC in 2024, and no other official news has come out. So people are maybe assuming this might be the next big thing to kind of go and note as well. So we're going to have some cool stuff. Like, we want to see some cool FPS things as well floating on in. There's a lot of just cool stuff coming out for this PlayStation event. The Xbox One was a little bit on the lackluster side. Like a smidgen, which kind of makes me a little bit on the sad. Uh, but at the same exact time, too, like, you can't always have absolute bangers. And usually around the summertime is more of the bigger announcements, the post-E3 time. Because that kind of preps up everything for the holiday season. So this is kind of just like the, hey, like, 
PlayStation still exists in 2024, or Xbox has stuff coming out in 2024. So as we go and see this one, I think people are going to be hopefully mostly happy with it. But that should be about it. If you guys want to give me your thoughts, expectations, or anything you guys are excited for for 2024 on Xbox or PlayStation, leave a comment down below. We'll probably be live up pretty soon up on Twitch if you guys are bored and want to hang out there. And of course, follow the Twitter and subscribe with the notifications on. If you guys want to go get a bunch of free money with stocks, go sign up for Weeble with the link down below, and you guys get a bunch of free stocks as well. I've had a lot of folks do that throughout the years, get a bunch of free stuff, so might as well. But let me know if you guys are going to watch the brand new State of Play soon.